movement tips and lifestyle hacks brought to you by FitLab PGH. Movement, a part of making your life complete. FitLab PGH is back with another movement tip and lifestyle hack. Today we're going down to the floor. We're going to talk about the feet. We know that the feet take a lot of abuse if you do standing and hard surfaces, uh, whether you have to work on a hard surface or you go to a concert or some other place for recreation. If you're a runner who spends a lot of time running on hard surfaces, the road, concrete sidewalks, or if you're a woman who wears shoes that make your feet look good or that you think are cute, we know all of those things play havoc on the feet. We, in a later video, are going to talk a little bit about strengthening some of the muscles of the feet. Today we're going to talk about a little bit of developing some mobility in the feet, identifying sore spots in the feet from muscles contracting. Remember, any sort of medical problem or any suspicion of a medical problem, contact your doctor before trying any of these tips. So one of the easiest things to do at home is to use a ball to roll your feet with. This is a paddle tennis ball that one of my clients gave me. It's about like a racquetball. It's a little firmer than a tennis ball. This is a lacrosse ball, which is very hard. And this is a golf ball. I like to at home use a lacrosse ball, partially because I like uh, the harder feeling on my feet. And the other thing is I have dogs and if a dog gets at this, they're not gonna destroy this. They can destroy this and I don't want them to destroy or swallow a golf ball. So if you have pets, make sure you keep these up. So what you do is you just take the ball, you place it on the floor. I actually have it on a mat so it doesn't slide around as much. You put your foot over it. You can roll forward and back. You can roll side to side. And if you pick a spot that's sore, you can maybe rotate your foot a little bit. And what I find is a minute, minute and a half on each foot results in my feet feeling a little bit more mobile. And sometimes I find that it helps me before I run or after I run. I always make sure that if I do one foot, I do the other foot, so we're doing equal work. Although I sometimes find that one foot is sore than the other foot, and I may spend a little bit more time on it. This is a quick, easy hack. You can do it when you're watching TV. You can do it when you're standing preparing dinner. You can even do it when you're talking on the phone. Thanks again for checking out FitLab Pittsburgh with a movement tip and lifestyle hack. We'll see you next time. Three times a week, FitLab PGH brings you a movement tip or lifestyle hack. Thanks to the Pilates body for providing us a locale for filming.